Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Cantonese ebook before it's gone. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Cantonese. Hi everybody, my name is Olivia. Welcome to the 800 Core Cantonese Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Cantonese. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at CantoneseClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Cantonese. Okay, let's get started. First is sao, hand, sao, sao, hand, jaw sao, left hand, jaw sao, sao bei, arm, sao bei. Sao bei, arm. Lang tiu sao bei, two arms. Lang tiu sao bei. Ge, foot. Ge, ge, foot. Jaw ge, left foot. Jaw ge, ge, leg. Ge, ge, leg. Chang ge, long legs. Chang ge, sao zi, finger. Sao zi, sao zi, finger. Ng zi sao zi, five fingers. Ng zi sao zi, bui zi, back. Bui zi, bui. Zack back. Ngo bui zack tong. My back hurts. Ngo bui zack tong. Tou stomach. Tou tou stomach. Ngo tou tong. I have a stomach ache. Ngo tou tong. Hong chest. Hong, hong, chest. Ngo hong hao tong. I have chest pains. Ngo hong hao tong. Yat yu, January. Yat yu, yat yu, January. Ni do yat yu hao tong. It's very cold here in January. Ni do yat yu ho dong. Yi yu February. Yi yu yi yu February. Yi yu yi sap gao ho hai yun nin yat. Leap year day is February 29th. Yi yu yi sap gao ho hai yun nin yat. Sam yu March. Sam yu. Sam yu. March. Yiga hai se yu. Zik hai sango yu hai sam yu. It's now April, so last month was March. Yiga hai se yu. Zik hai sango yu hai sam yu. Se yu April. Se yu. Se yu. April. Se yu yat ho. April 1st. 四月一号，五月 May， 五月五月 May， 五月三十一号系世界无烟日。May thirty first is World No Smoking Day。五月三十一号系世界无烟日。六月 June。六月六
月 June， 六月婚礼 June wedding， 六月婚礼，七月 July， 七月七月 July， 七月有三十一日 ，July has thirty one days， 七月。有三十一日，八月 August， 八月，八月 August， 八月好热 ，It's hot in August， 八月好热，九月 September， 九月，九月 September， 九月一号。September first, 九月一號。十月 October, 十月十月 October， 十月三十一號係萬聖節。Halloween falls on October thirty first. 十月三十一號係萬聖節。十一月 November， 十一月，十一月 November， 十一月二十四號感恩節 ，Thanksgiving November twenty fourth， 十一月二十四號感恩節，十二月 December， 十二月，十二月。December, 十二月二十五號 December twenty fifth, 十二月二十五號 Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned twenty new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at CantoneseClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily live conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time, Jaikin. Not enough time in the day. This is one of the biggest reasons people struggle with learning a language. Sure, you want to speak the language fluently, but you're already busy with work, school, relationships, TV shows, and goals that you just can't give up on. But the truth is, if you're going out and commuting, then you actually do have a bit of time, which is actually enough to learn a language if you're learning the right way. Five easy ways to learn while on a walk or on your commute. So in this guide, you'll discover how you can learn a language and make meaningful progress on your walks or commutes, and how to apply these tips to our learning system. But you can also apply them to your other resources. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So, how can you learn on a commute or a 10-minute walk? Number one. Download our free app, Innovative Language Learning. If you're already thinking that getting an app is obvious, you're right. But many apps out there require you to be actively tapping and using your device, which may not be good if your commute involves driving. With Innovative Language Learning, you can just press play on a lesson and listen to practical conversations in your target language, all hands-free. You hear real speakers, real voices, and then our teachers explain all the words and grammar rules from the conversation while you're walking or even driving. Each lesson is just a few minutes long, meaning you can learn quite a bit on a 10-minute commute. Number two, boost your vocabulary with the word of the day. This is another thing you can do on the go. Our free Word of the Day email lessons are sent daily, and all you have to do is open up your phone, check the email, and learn the word. And that only takes a minute or less. Many of our existing learners like this study tool because even if they're too busy to do anything else, keeping up with the Word of the Day still keeps them on track with the language. Everyone that signs up to our learning system gets the free Word of the Day automatically. So if you want the study tool, just click the link in the description. Number three, swipe through our vocabulary and phrase images. You know how you open up your Photos app and swipe through to look at your pictures? Well, you can do just that and learn words and phrases at the same time with our infographics. 
Just download our free infographics. These contain several words per image, so you're not learning just one word at a time. And then swipe through while you're on a walk or on a commute. Of course, you can do this with other resources too, like our PDF cheat sheets. Number four, listen to words and phrases on repeat with our audio slideshow. Just visit our free vocabulary lists inside the menu. Pick a list and select Play Slideshow. You can set this slideshow on a loop and play the words and phrases over and over while you're out on the go. And number five, learn with your teacher on the go. If you're a Premium Plus member, you can also use our app to interact with your teacher, ask questions, make recordings of yourself speaking, and get corrections. Just tap on My Teacher on the bottom menu. Many of our learners will spend a few minutes sending questions about grammar they've learned in the lessons, and others send quick write-ups about their day for corrections. So go ahead and try any one of these tips and learn a bit of the language while you're out on the go. And if you want to get access to these resources and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Cantonese. Hi everybody, my name is Olivia. Welcome to the 800 core Cantonese words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Cantonese. But there's a twist. With each new lessons in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you've learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at CantoneseClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Cantonese. Okay, let's get started. First is... Gam yat. Today. Gam yat. Gam yat. Today. Today at 6.15 Yesterday Yesterday I took a day off yesterday Tomorrow Tomorrow Ting yat tomorrow. Ting yat. Ting yat tomorrow. Ting yat gin. See you tomorrow. Ting yat gin. Sing ke. Week. Sing ke. Sing ke. Week. Yet the sing ke yao tat yat. There are seven days in a week. Yet go sing ke yao tat yat. Nin. Year, nin, nin, year. Yan nin yao sub yi go yut. There are twelve months in a year. Yat nin yao sub yi go yut. Mio, second. Mio, mio, second. Sub mio, ten seconds. Sub mio, fun chong minute. Fun chong. Fun chong minute. Sam fun chong. Three minutes. Sam fun chong. Chong hour. Chong. Chong hour. Ngo mui yat fun bad go chong. I sleep for eight hours every day. Ngo mui yat fun bad go chong. Si chong. Clock. Si chong. Si Jong clock. Now Jong alarm clock. Now Jong Dim o'clock. Dim Dim o'clock. Yiga sub Dim is ten o'clock. Yiga sub Dim. Yat lick calendar. Yat lick yat lick calendar. It's time to change the calendar. Monday. 
。又到星期一啦 ，It's Monday again。又到星期一啦，星期二 ，Tuesday。星期二，星期二 ，Tuesday。下星期二 ，Tuesday next week。下星期二，星期三 Wednesday， 星期三，星期三 Wednesday， 十八号星期三 Wednesday the eighteen， 十八号星期三，星期四 Thursday， 星期四，星期四 Thursday。喺星期四 ，on Thursday。喺星期四，星期五 ，Friday。星期五，星期五 ，Friday。喺日历上面写星期五嘅约定。Write the plans for Friday on the calendar。喺日历上面写星期五嘅约定。星期六 ，Saturday。星期六，星期六 ，Saturday。星期六晚 ，Saturday night。星期六晚，星期日 ，Sunday。星期日，星期日，星期日 ，Sunday。星期日朝早 ，Sunday morning。星期日。朝早做 do 做做完成 to do it all 完成去 go 去去 go 直去 go straight ahead 直去。Well done! In this lesson, you expanded the vocabulary and learned twenty new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at CantoneseClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Jogging. Most adults shy away from language learning for one obvious reason: learning a language takes time. But just because you're busy doesn't mean you can't start learning a language. You just need the right tools that help you make the most of your limited time. How to learn easily for busy adults, and that's why in this guide you'll discover one: how to pick up practical conversations in just a few minutes a day. Two, how to boost your vocabulary for free. Three, apps to use to learn on the go, and four, the one self-made trap that stops most people, including busy adults, from learning. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So, here's how you can start learning a language as a busy adult. And the first point is. <laughs> The all-or-nothing mindset is when you think either you succeed or you fail, and there's no in between. This kind of black or white thinking is common with perfectionists and those with high anxiety. And in the case of language learning, someone with this mindset will think there's no point in learning for 10 or 15 minutes a day because it takes a lot of time. So either you go all out and study for hours a day, or you don't bother at all. And of course, the problem is nobody starts learning a language by going all out. Just like nobody lifts 200 pounds on their first day at the gym, and even if you tried, you wouldn't last very long. Do you have this mindset? Leave us a comment. But before you start learning a language, try and change your mind about this, because it's much easier to stick with language as a habit and grow that habit if you're not overwhelming yourself from the start. Now, how can you learn if you're busy? <laughs> If you're learning with our system, you get lessons by real teachers that are just three to fifteen minutes in length. And in those few minutes, you one hear a practical conversation, two get every word and grammar rule explained, three have the conversation repeated several times just to help it stick, four 
learn cultural tips related to the lesson, and five, you start speaking the language. So for those few minutes, you get the best possible return for the time you put in, which is great for busy adults. And after you're done with lesson number one, we guide you to lesson two to three, from absolute beginner all the way up to advanced. <laughs> If you want to learn to speak the language without getting bogged down with grammar, then check out our Survival Phrases course. You'll learn basic conversations and phrases needed to survive in the country, like greetings, how to order food, how to ask for directions, and more. Again, lessons are just a few minutes long, and they're perfect for travelers, busy adults, and anyone looking for an easy start to the language. By the way, this 50 Lesson Survival Phrases course is 100% free for all users until June 30th, so don't miss out on this freebie. It won't be available for long. Now, if you're always on the go and prefer using your phone, then download our app, Innovative Language Learning, for free. And this gives you the same access to all the lessons inside our system. That way, you can easily do a few lessons on your commute, on a break, or on a walk. The word of the day is a free service that sends you new words every day and improves your vocabulary. And you can easily spend a minute or two reading through the word, the examples, listening to the pronunciation, and saying it out loud. These are just a few ways you can start learning a language, even if you're low on time. So, if you want to learn the language and get access to these learning tools and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. What are the best ways to learn a language on the go? You might be surprised to find there are lots of moments throughout the day we can transform into language learning opportunities. These might be on your commute, during an exercise session, or even just when you're trying to kill some time. In this video, we'll introduce you to three tips for learning on the go. Number one, how to learn a language on the go. Many of us are probably used to studying when we have time to sit down and concentrate. We take out textbooks and notepads and prepare to focus our attention for an hour or so, like in a classroom. It might be hard to think of studying in other settings, like when you're sitting on a bus or are stuck in traffic, but there are still things you can do, even if your hands are full. For example, think about your commute. How much time do you spend traveling to and from work, school, or other activities throughout the week? If you have a one hour commute every day, that's a lot of time you could be spending working on your language skills. Even if you're not ready to devote your whole commute to study, a little bit every day will help. But how do you study in environments like these? By changing the way you approach your learning. These days, many people now have a computer right in their pocket. Smartphones make it easy to access many different kinds of study materials. Depending on our needs and the time we have available, we can watch YouTube videos, listen to podcasts, study vocabulary, review infographics, and more. There are many different ways to build our language skills, and we can choose study methods that work for our schedules, our personalities, and our goals. There are a lot of different methods to consider. So in part two, we're going to share a few ideas to help you get started. Number two, five easy ways to learn a language on the go. If you're standing on a crowded train, you can't pull out a book or do workbook problems. If you're exercising, it's probably impossible to review textbooks or take notes. If you're driving, you need to make sure you're watching the road. So how do you transform times like these into study opportunities? Situations like these are great for audio and video lessons. We have huge libraries of both, so you can choose whichever is best for you. All you need to study is a smartphone, a lesson, and a pair of earphones. Just press play and watch a video or listen to an audio lesson, like you would with music. 
During your commute or exercise session, you'll hear a simple conversation focused on a specific goal, like introducing yourself or ordering food. Then, our teachers will explain the words and phrases. In just a few minutes, you'll be working on mastering an entire conversation. Our second study method suggestion is our app, Innovative Language 101. You can download it for free for the iPhone, iPad, and Android. This will allow you to take your lessons with you wherever you go. Study idea three is for those of you who want something super quick and easy. You can use it to kick off your studies each day. It's our word of the day email. Every day, you get an email with a new word, example sentences, audio, and a picture to help make it stick in your mind. If you check your email during your commute, you can also check the word of the day. Our last two study method ideas are about tools that can help you remember what you study. First is our vocab slideshow tool. This study tool is available on all vocab lists and lessons. Just press play and listen to words and phrases one by one. You can even set the slideshow on a loop and listen to the words over and over. Finally, our last suggestion is our smart flashcards. These flashcards use spaced repetition to help you study and remember words, and the cards are mobile friendly. The cards remember your progress and quiz you on words at the right times. This helps ensure you don't forget the things you study. To access these, visit the site on your phone and find the flashcards in the vocabulary menu. Swipe through as you study. Our system will remember your progress. If you get a word wrong, you'll see it more often. The flashcards know to quiz you again and again until you remember that word. Number three, be consistent. If you can find new ways to use your time and work towards your language goals, great. But remember to be consistent. Using all or even part of your commute or your downtime to study can be a fantastic way to make progress, but you need to make sure to do it regularly. Try to build a habit of starting a video lesson as soon as your commute begins, or pressing play on an audio lesson as soon as you begin a jog. Creating these habits will help you stick with your study methods long term and will lead to greater progress. For the tools we've talked about in this video and much more, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is, can busy people actually learn a language? You yourself probably have an answer to this question, right? But whether you can or can't actually has a bit more to do with your mindset than anything else. And in this guide, you'll discover, one, is it possible for busy people to learn a language and the mindset needed? Two, mental bandwidth, the one thing that can make or break your language goals. And three, five mindset tricks to make time for language. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Talking Online PDF Cheat Sheet. Learn the must-know internet slang and all the internet-related vocab and phrases in your target language with this PDF Cheat Sheet. And second, the 40 Words and Phrases for Ordering Food Writing Workbook. With this free resource, you'll pick up must-know words and phrases for the restaurant and practice writing them out as well. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Can busy people actually learn a language? Part one, is it possible for busy people to learn a language and the mindset needed? So can busy people actually learn a language? What do you think? Leave us a comment and let us know. As much as we want to say yes, it's more of a yes or no depending on the person. Why yes? Yes, because many of our members are busy and are learning with our system. And some of you who are watching also fall into this camp. But it also depends on the person because it's more of a mindset thing. Either you think you have time or you don't. 
For example, many of our members fall into the group of can learn and can find the time, even if they're busy. If you're busy and still want to learn, if you look around, you can always find five or 10 minutes a day, like on a commute. Now, if your mindset is the opposite, if you think you can't learn a language or you don't have time, you won't even try, even if you had a resource that was proven to work. Part two, mental bandwidth, the one thing that can make or break your language goals. And if you think about it, if you had all the time in the world but felt like you couldn't learn a language, you wouldn't try either. Again, this is why it comes down to the mindset and why it all depends on each individual person. Either you think you can or you think you can't. But it may not always be this black and white either. It can also depend on your mental bandwidth too. Think back to your school days, those few days before exams. It got really busy and you had to stop everything to study, right? You were probably thinking, if I can just get through studying this week and take the test, then next week I can finally start relaxing and doing other things. And if someone asked you if you wanted to hang out, you would say no, because you're busy. But chances are you still managed to spend at least 30 minutes on YouTube or social media. Meaning you did have some time, even if you were busy. But the test was occupying your mind and taking up all that bandwidth. So it's also possible that we just don't have the mental bandwidth because we're overwhelmed. And this is a genuine reason for not being able to learn when you're busy. Don't worry, in the next part, we'll show you how to get some bandwidth so that you don't feel overwhelmed. Part three, five mindset tricks to make time for language. So if you've gotten this far, you understand that it is possible to start learning a language, even if you're busy, that you can find the time, but it mostly comes down to your mindset. So how can you develop the mindset? So when you're too busy, it feels like you're overwhelmed and like you don't have control of your time. Well, there are a few things you can do to gain some control of your time, have some breathing room, and learn a bit of language. First. Always set small, measurable goals. This is something that we talk a lot about here. For example, learn for 10, 15, or 20 minutes every day. Learn 100 words in one month, which means learning three to four words a day. And the mindset behind this is just being realistic with your goals and what you can do. Because if you're busy, you may not have one or two hours. And this is a strict rule, especially when starting out with new goals and languages. Always stick to small, measurable goals. Second, lowering your goals and expectations is okay when things get super busy. If you couldn't learn all 100 words for the month and only got up to 40 or 60, that's okay. If you tried learning on Monday and Tuesday but skipped Wednesday and Thursday, that's okay. Sometimes you have to shift priorities, and prioritizing things is a secret to a successful life. You may not get to the goal you wanted to achieve today, but you can get to it next week. Third, it's okay to put language on pause if life gets in the way. Just like with that last point, you can always come back and reach your goal a little later. We often see learners put language on pause, come back later. Some even come back years later, but the key is to come back. Fourth, avoid the all or nothing mindset at all costs. And an all or nothing mindset is something you'll see in beginners and perfectionists. When you have this mindset, you'll say, language learning requires hours, so there's no point in learning for a few minutes today. But something is better than nothing, and even five to 10 minutes of review adds up in the grand scheme. And in the grand scheme, it's more important to be consistent, even if it's just for a minute a day, rather than study for hours once a week. The brain just doesn't work that way. Fifth, do you have a slowdown or relaxing routine that you do on the weekends or whenever you have free time? And if you didn't do it, you'd feel overwhelmed? Leave us a comment and let us know what it is. For some, it could be reading, watching TV, or going to a cafe and doing nothing for a bit. You're there on your own, you don't have much to do in front of you, even if it's just 10 or 15 minutes. And if you're settled, you start feeling in control. And that's the point you have some mental bandwidth. You can start doing some time management and plan your week out. You can put in a few minutes of language learning. But if you don't slow down and if you feel overwhelmed, you could have the easiest possible way to learn a language. And you still wouldn't do it. 
So, back to you. If you were busy, do you think you'd be able to learn a language? Leave us a comment. So, thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Do you record yourself speaking your target language? If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Being in planes, trains, and buses can be an uncomfortable experience for many people. Often there are small, cramped seats, not many things to do, and sometimes the experience is even scary. Despite this, you often see people working in these environments. How do they do it? In this video, you'll learn three tips to help you be able to study anywhere. The first one is adjust to your environment. Most of us would probably agree that a plane or a bus is not the best place to study. These environments are usually dark and cramped, and you may have a crying baby next to you. But the point is, there's never a perfect time or place to learn. The reality is that a lot of us use transportation every day. We face environments that are typically considered unsuitable for study. Trains get crowded. You can't do much in your car. Even in your own home, you'll get distracted by the TV or Facebook or something. And some days you'll be sick. You'll be tired. You'll have dinner plans. Once you accept that there's rarely such a thing as the perfect time to study, you can start thinking about how to make the best of the environment you have at that time. For example, if you ride a train, you might stand up for a long time. It might be difficult to focus on a book. In a case like this, you can use the Innovative Language 101 app to study. Listen to the audio lessons or do the word of the day by email. There are ways that you can learn in just about any situation. The point is, you need to adjust your study method to your environment. So take a look at your day and see where your time goes. Are there any gaps in between your activities where you feel like you can't study? And is there any way you can adjust? Two, take advantage of your limited time. We've surveyed tons of learners over the years, and every year we find that the number one reason most people don't learn a language is they say they have no time. But there's a chance you may have some spare time to study. You might just not recognize it yet. Let's say you commute for 30 minutes every day. You can ask yourself, how do I put these next 30 minutes to use? Or if you finish work at 7 p.m. and spend an hour doing nothing, you can think about what you might do in that hour that will help you work towards your goals. You don't have to use all 30 minutes of your commute or the full hour of your free time, but you can definitely fit in a short lesson or take other steps towards your goals. Three, have an on and off mindset. When you work, it can be really helpful to have a kind of on-off switch for when it's time to work and time to rest. You can apply the same idea to your language studies. When it's time to study, you can focus solely on that. You don't spend time thinking about doing it, you just do it. It doesn't matter where you are or what kind of studying you're doing, as long as it gets done. And when you're done with a lesson, reward yourself. It can be as simple as telling yourself, great job. When you're finished with the time you promised yourself for studies, feel free to focus on the next thing. In this video, we covered a few tips to help you study no matter where you are or how much time you have. It's all about having the right mindset. And for even more ways to study, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Cantonese. Hi everybody, my name is Olivia. Welcome to the 800 Core Cantonese Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Cantonese. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at CantoneseClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Cantonese. Okay, let's get started. 
First is 可以 can 可以可以 can 我可以食辣 I can eat spicy food. 我可以食辣。零 zero 零零 zero 零点五度 zero point five degrees 零点五度一 one 一一 one 一個人 one person 一個人二 two 二二 two 二號二號 number two 二號三 three 三三 three 三度 three degrees 三度 say four say say four say got four corners say got mm, five mm, mm, five mm, do, five degrees mm, do, lo, six lo, lo, six Lo chun six inches. Lo chun tat seven. Tat tat seven. Tat ho number seven. Tat ho bat eight. Bat bat eight. Bat eight times. Bat Gao nine Gao Gao nine Gao ho number nine Gao ho sub ten sub sub ten sub do ten degrees sub do sell for yun salesman Salesman, 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 car salesman, car salesman, car salesman, manager, 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 department manager. 部门经理、厨师、cook、厨师、厨师、cook。佢系四星级酒店嘅厨师。She is a cook at a four-star restaurant, or she is a cook at a four-star hotel. 佢係四星級酒店嘅廚師、工程師、engineer、工程師、工程師、engineer、土木工程師、civil engineer、土木工程師、程式設計師、programmer。程式設計師，程式設計師 ，programmer， 電腦程式設計師 ，computer programmer， 電腦程式設計師，護士 ，nurse， 護士，護士 ，nurse。个女人系护士 ，the woman is a nurse。个女人系护士，身体 ，body， 身体，身体 ，body， 
，身体结构 ，body structure， 身体结构，头 ，head， 头，头 ，head， 头同颈 ，head and neck， 头同颈。Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned twenty new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at CantoneseClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Ciao, Kim. Can learning a new language help you make money? In this video, you'll learn three ways that learning a language can help increase your income. So, if you know a language other than your native language, does it help you earn more money? Learning a new language provides a wide range of benefits, including personal growth, higher cognitive function, better resistance to age-related deterioration, and the opportunity to meet exciting new people from all over the world. But that's not all. It's possible that learning a foreign language can help you to earn more money throughout your life. Studies have shown that someone making thirty thousand dollars annually could boost their salary by at least six hundred dollars per year through applying their knowledge of another language. Over the course of a lifetime, that could add up to a significant contribution to your retirement savings or overall earnings. In this video, we're going to talk about how to get free language learning courses and tools that you can use for your studies, with the aim of boosting your income. One day, the extra money could possibly help you buy a new Ferrari, vacation home, or save more money for retirement. But first, let's look at a few ways you can make money with a second language. The first method is by exploring bilingual or multilingual job opportunities. With the rise of multinational corporations doing business all around the globe, the need for bilingual or even multilingual employees has never been higher. Therefore, knowing a second language can be extremely valuable. Having a second language as part of your skill set could help you make significantly more money than if you're fluent in just one language. So, in a very real way, learning a language online, even for free, can alter your career and earnings trajectory for the better, and it can help put you on the path towards the lifestyle you want. The second method is by exploring work you can do from home in your second language. It's possible to use your knowledge of a second language to work from home. There are many websites that have hundreds of paying translation jobs at any given time. Although the pay may vary significantly between jobs, and you probably won't actually become rich from such work, translation jobs can boost your salary and improve your lifestyle. And translation jobs aren't the only way to make money online from home. There are actually a wide range of opportunities out there for people to boost their income using their knowledge of a second language. These include copywriting, administrative work, and even multilingual IT jobs. The third method is by working overseas. If you love adventure or want to travel the world, you can put your language knowledge to use by taking advantage of bilingual or multilingual opportunities overseas. Put what you've learned to work in the real world. Combine your second language skills with the other skills you have and offer something special to employers. To start, think about a country where you might like to live someday and begin your language studies with the language spoken in that country. With diligent work, you can master a language and secure a position with an overseas company. These are just a few of the ways you can put your knowledge of another language to use and make some extra money with your skills. Over time, this added income can make a huge difference in your life. Our language learning program provides a number of free language learning tools and resources as part of our free lifetime account. You can use these to get started with your language learning and begin working toward boosting your income throughout your life. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds, and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Today, traditional classrooms are no longer the only or even best place to learn a new language. More and more people are finding that they can easily learn a language just about anywhere they have a few minutes of spare time, including their daily commute to work. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the average American spends over 50 minutes a day commuting to and from work, or over 300 hours a year. But rather than simply sitting in traffic and wasting the time, 
you can instead use your daily commute to literally learn a new language in just a few short months. Our language learning program has specialized learning tools that you can use on your commute to and from the office to master a language in your spare time. What are some reasons traditional classroom settings just aren't the best option for most people in today's fast-paced world? Difficulty getting to and from class. Learning on someone else's schedule. Very expensive and may cost thousands of dollars to complete. Can take years to finally complete classes and learn the language. The simple truth is the traditional classroom instruction is simply not a viable option for most people in today's very fast-paced, time-starved world. Now, let's examine how you can learn a language faster, more easily, and at far less expense than traditional classes, all during your commute to work and back home again. Three reasons your daily commute can help you master a language in the next year. On average, Americans spend more than 300 hours per year commuting. During the commute to and from work, over six hours a week is completely wasted. The time isn't used to help you reach any goals or objectives. But thanks to online language learning platforms with audiobooks and other resources that you can access during your commute, you can easily transform wasted time into progress toward learning a new language. With over 300 hours available annually, your daily commute could provide you with enough time to gain significant skills in a new language each and every year. Increase your earning potential while commuting to work. How would you like to transform all those spare commuting hours each week into more money for a new car, house, or even a dream vacation? According to research, someone making $30,000 per year can boost their annual income by $600 or more per year by learning a second language. Over the course of a lifetime, that's a significant amount. How? From work-at-home translation jobs to working overseas, there are many ways to leverage your second language into more money in your bank account. So instead of wasting your precious time, you can make your commute more productive and eventually profitable. The more languages you learn, the higher your income potential. Repetition is key to mastering a new language. Not sure if it's practical to learn another language while commuting to and from work each day? Well, not only is it possible, learning in your car on the way to and from work each day can actually help you learn and master any language quickly. The simple truth is that repetition is absolutely vital to truly internalizing and mastering any language. So, if you listen to audiobooks or even audio lessons on your commute to work and then repeat the same lesson on your commute home, the information is more likely to be locked in to your long-term memory. Our language learning program has been helping people learn and master language in the comfort of their home, during their daily commute, or any place they have a few spare minutes of time. Here are five features of our program that make it easy to learn a new language while commuting to and from work. First, the largest collection of audio lessons on the planet by native speaker instructors. Every single week, native speaker instructors create new audio lessons. All lessons are short, to the point, and guaranteed to improve your mastery of a language. Second, the word of the day. Simply exposing yourself to new information and vocabulary terms helps increase your fluency and mastery of your target language. So every single day, check out the word of the day and memorize it during your commute. It's a quick and easy way to boost your vocabulary every day. Third, daily dose mini lessons. Have a short commute to work, but still want to make progress towards learning more than just vocabulary? Not a problem. Our daily dose mini lessons are one minute or less and are designed to improve your grammar, conversations, and pronunciation. Fourth, all content is available on a convenient mobile app. You don't need a PC or tablet to learn during your daily commute. Instead, all of our lessons, tools, and resources are available 24-7 via our mobile app. That means you can access all of our audio lessons and other tools during your commute to work or anytime you have a few spare minutes. Fifth, audiobooks and other supplemental resources. In addition to the world's largest online collection of HD audio lessons, our language learning program has audiobooks to enhance your understanding and make it more convenient than ever to learn a language during your commute. The average commute time of most Americans is over 300 hours each year, and it's the perfect opportunity to learn and master a new language. Use the dead time during your daily commute to learn a new language and potentially boost your lifetime earnings. Whatever your motivation, 
Our language learning program has the tools and resources necessary to help you learn a new language each year during your commute to and from work. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds, and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 Words eBook. It's free! and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Cantonese ebook before it's gone.